Hey guys, so it is Wednesday night and I know this is weird because I just decided to start vlogging. <laughs> I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow just because I kind of like just want to talk to you guys. <laughs> I seriously, like you guys probably think that I am late the biggest loser. Maybe I am. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I am. But I don't know. I've been in a funk, guys, in a funk this week. And I was just laying here, seriously, in the verge of tears. And I don't want to cry because I don't like crying. So I said, you know what, let me just start vlogging right now and share how I feel. That way I won't cry because I don't want to cry on camera. So I think like that kind of like went away. But this week has been crazy. I mean, not th some crazy thing happened, but I'll tell you that tomorrow. But I just feel right now like so lonely. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh my God, I hope I don't cry. I just feel like, I just feel like I miss my family and I miss my friends. And I'm just having a rough time this week. And I feel like because I've been in this funk, my whole week has been like thrown out of whack. I feel like we're off and I don't like to feel like this because you guys know that I am all about positive vibes but this is just to prove to you that if you are not in the right state of mind everything else kind of like falls apart and that's what I feel like I just feel like this week has just been off and I have been working out I have been trying to stay on top of my food but I just feel like burned out and I don't know if it's that I'm physically burned out or I'm emotionally burned out or maybe just both maybe both of them are like contracting interacting I don't know whatever you call it they're just both taking a toll on me I don't know I think it's because so Saturday is one of our little cousins communion and you know all of Tone's family is getting together and we couldn't make it obviously and I just feel so sad about it like i hate missing family events like that i feel like i don't want to miss out on being a part of the kids lives and i don't want penelope to miss out on that and like they're all so close to each other and you know together and i just feel like we're all the way here and oh my god i'm gonna cry i don't want to cry but i just feel like so left out it's not their fault and definitely it's nobody's fault but I don't know I just I think it's because of that and also like it's Mother's Day coming and I miss my mom I'm back I got myself together but I just I feel like maybe for holidays and because of this family party coming I just I don't know why I'm so emotional I don't have my period <laughs> actually just had it so it's not that or maybe it is because it's just ending but you know mother's day is coming and like i miss my mom and i miss tone's mom and i i just miss that every year we would just get together for mother's day and go out to brunch and spend the day together and um, obviously i have penelope and tone and i know i'll be happy with them but i just miss that and like everybody's gonna be together and i feel like penelope is missing out on being with her cousins and i don't know why i'm like this right now <laughs> but i really wanted to just tell you you know not every day is happy and i share my struggle with you guys about when i moved and i really don't want to have a pity party like this you guys know i'm not like this but i just wanted to share that not always it's not always like happy and i'm not always just all positive and don't get me wrong tomorrow I'll wake up and hope that it's a better day and i figured tomorrow vlogging will be nice we're just home not doing much but you guys help me like kind of like when i'm in a funk <laughs> so i figure i will share how i feel in case tomorrow i'm like a bit off you would understand why I can't believe I just cried, but I don't know. It's just, it's life. This is like real life. <laughs> like, as much as I always want to stay happy and positive, sometimes 
it's really hard like today or like this past couple of days i've just been so busy i feel like i haven't had downtime and now that saturday's coming i just feel like wow we're not there and like we're not gonna be there and it just makes me upset and also you know cinco de mayo <laughs> which is so dumb but I, it makes me miss my friends like we usually will you know go for tacos go for margaritas and i just i'm here alone not alone i have tone and penelope but you guys know what i mean i'm a firm believer that if you are not in the right mind and you're not feeling good or happy everything around you kind of like falls off track and that's how i feel like i feel like when i'm in these moods i just tend to fight with tone and i don't like the person i become so i'm really trying to kick it to the curve so maybe that was also a part of why i wanted to come on here just because if i let it out maybe i'll feel better i usually will call my best friend but it's pretty late here so it's definitely later <laughs> it's an hour ahead um in pa so she's definitely sleeping and i also like to talk to my mom about it but i don't want to worry her she usually gets worried and like she gets upset so yeah that just made me sound like a bigger loser like seriously you're talking to us you like don't you have anyone else to call i mean you know i told tom but like he's a guy he doesn't understand and i feel like tone tries so hard to keep it cool and be like yeah we're okay like it's great here and we're fine and this and that that he doesn't want to be vulnerable with me and he just wants to be tough and i get it he's a guy but i'm a girl and even though i'm pretty tough sometimes sometimes it gets tiring being so tough and then some days like today you just gotta let it out and hope that it makes you feel better and i think it did i think it did make me feel better okay this video is already five minutes long so that's it i just wanted to share that with you but i'll see you guys tomorrow morning but i'll be sleeping obviously it's super late i don't know why i just said that but yeah tomorrow we're just gonna be home hanging out and hopefully i'll feel better but thanks for listening to me i love you guys good night it's 9 30 penelope's up i woke up like a few minutes ago her bottle's ready and everything um i don't know when she woke up i think i checked she was up like eight and she wasn't so from there to now who knows when she woke up i'm gonna go get her now <laughs> she just sits there quietly she doesn't do anything isn't it funny hey can you say good morning Yes. <laughs> I love when she opens her eyes like that. She just had her bottle. We're hanging in bed. Right? We're just hanging out for a little. Oh my god, you're crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to sit to have breakfast. Penelope had fruit. She had blueberries, strawberries, apples. Didn't have any of her, like, this, like... They're like kind of like organic, fruity Cheerios that I got at Whole Foods. She usually likes them, but didn't have any. Gave her a cinnamon toast, cinnamon raisin toast. Um, I thought she ate it, but nope, it's on the floor. And now she just wants to throw everything on the floor. So this is just to show you guys that she doesn't always want to eat good. All she ate was her fruit. And this is what I'm having. Egg whites. Two slices of turkey bacon and one of those protein waffles with some, with a strawberry. One strawberry slice and coffee. So I'm going to eat and then, you know, just going to clean up the kitchen and then I don't know what else. I just put Penelope down for a nap. She was so tired. Like I FaceTime with my mom. I put away some clothes that I had folded for her and she's like, ow, I literally just put her down. Oh, she's still awake. But she's falling asleep. 
so what i'm gonna do now is make my bed because i haven't made it and i'm gonna record a little power hour i think she'll nap for like an hour and i really just want to clean a little bit and then just kind of like spend the day with her like playing and stuff because like i said we've been like running out every single day and i feel like she's just been like in the car or like we've been like rushing to get out of the house and stuff so i just kind of want to like make today like her day and also i just need a break i need a break of doing so much so what i'm gonna do is record an hour of cleaning i do have to clean her bathroom for sure today because i haven't done it um like in two weeks even though the only thing that happens there is that she takes a bath that's about it um but I think I'm just gonna do an hour, a power hour, just try to clean as much as I can while she naps. And then once she gets up, we'll just spend some time together and I'll clean her bathroom at some point because that shouldn't be too hard. That's the plan. I'll come back in a little bit. I'm gonna make my bed, pick up this room and record the power hour. So I'll see you guys after that when she wakes up. <laughs> Hi, so I did an hour of cleaning. Exactly an hour and Penelope woke up. She's just sitting in her crib, but I did my power hour video and I didn't get done with everything in the video So I just finished vacuuming now. I'm gonna go get her and we're gonna fold some clothes and eat lunch mm -hmm. Yep, so yeah, that's what's happening. I'm like so freaking hot right now because I just clean But I'm so glad I did it Now we're just gonna fold some clothes with P because she likes doing that unfolding clothes <laughs> while well, I fold it and then we're gonna have lunch and that's about it but while I fold clothes if she lets me I'll tell you what happened to me this week which is so freaking funny but scary like a bad mom moment pumpkin pie did you have a good nap look at your hair oh oh you okay let's open the blinds Oh, what are you doing? Are you giving me smiles? Are you giving me smiles, you little nugget? Hello? What are you doing? <gasps> Hello? I don't know what you're trying to show me, baby. Let's change your diaper and go have some fun. I couldn't get her hair right because, you know, it's so long and it's growing so much. <laughs> I don't know what was up with it. It just won't go down. But that's a lie. Penelope's hair like does not grow at all. It just gets lighter and lighter, but it doesn't go. I mean, I don't have the best hair, so what can I expect, right? <laughs> Let's fold some clothes. You unfold and I'll fold. Is that fun? Yeah. Hi. Okay, I know you guys like to see what we eat. So Penelope is having these um, chicken tenders. They're like chicken nuggets, these organic um, chicken nuggets that I found and she actually likes. So she's having those. She hasn't had them in a while. Hopefully she still likes them. Looks like she's eating them. Green beans because they're her favorite. And I only put um, some olive oil and a little salt. Uh, but she loves those. And what I'm having is one whole tomato with lemon, um, salt and pepper. I'm having three ounces of chicken, half a cup of brown rice. I was going to eat the green beans, but I know she likes them, so I just gave them to her. I just stayed with a couple. And then this is a yogurt dressing that I got that actually I'm allowed to get. Um, it's like a salad dressing, but I like it for dipping. So I dip like carrots, like baby carrots, and also the chicken. We dipped it last night because I made this last night and I just made enough to have for lunch. And the chicken dipped in that is so good. Let me show you the dressing. I just made a mess in the kitchen that I had just cleaned, but you know, that's life. I still have to mop, but I'm really hungry. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I got it at Whole Foods and it's creamy Greek yogurt and it tastes kind of like a tzatziki sauce or something like that. Um, it's actually, or like a ranch. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's really good. So I figure I'll show it to you guys, but that's it. Oh, I also got this organic um, pineapple juice. I'm gonna see if Penelope likes it. Um, it's like not made from concentrate, has no added sugars. So let's see, maybe she'll like it. Let's see what she thinks. I've been introducing more juice to her. I think she likes it. 
um, but I think all she's had is like apple juice, uh, like the baby apple juice, and she likes it, but I literally put maybe like a tablespoon of juice, no, a little more, like two tablespoons of juice, and the rest is water. So she just gets like a little hint of sweetness. Oh, she really likes it. Of course, because it's sweet, right? Circle? No. You know where the circle goes. That's the only one you know where it goes for sure. Put it in here. Good job. Yep. Square. Yep. Good job. Okay, so now that I play with her a minute um, and she's content, let me tell you what happened this week. I know yesterday I was kind of upset and I feel better today. I talked to my mom and that always makes me feel better. I'm so bummed that, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Life can't stop because you're upset and you can't be upset all the time, so. Yesterday's in the past and today we're here and I just kept myself busy, so. I'm doing good, now I'm just spending time with P, which always makes me just good. Um, but the reason why I say that I'm like so all over the place this week is because so much has happened. So Monday, was it Monday? I think it was Monday, yeah, Monday. We went out with P and well, I thought it was Mother's Day this Sunday, so I went out and shopped for Mother's Day gifts because I needed to mail everything out Tuesday so my mom and Tone's mom will get them by Sunday, right? So, Monday we went out uh, to a couple places, whatever. We're leaving Marshalls, I think, and Penelope is like already tired, like, cause we're gone places, so she's over it. So she is like, oh my God, that cat is so loud. Um, so she's like losing her mind. So while I'm paying, I gave her my phone to play with because if not, it was just gonna be impossible to do anything. So she's playing with my phone, whatever. I figured she was gonna lock it, but whatever. That's, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we leave Marshalls, we pay. She's cranky, I put everything in the car, I put her in her car seat, and she's playing with my car keys. Can imagine where this is going now. She's playing with my car keys, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already heard this story because I shared it there, but if you don't have Instagram or you don't follow me there, that's what I'm telling you now. Uh, but, so whatever, she's playing with my keys, um, and I'm like, you know what? I try to take them away, she's crying, I'm like, it's fine. I'll just get in the car, we're driving right to Target, so it's totally fine, just play with the keys. My car is a 2017 car, like it's not supposed to lock with the keys inside, and you could only turn on the car if the keys are inside. So I just was like, all I'm gonna do is go around and get in the car and drive. So I leave the keys, I close the door, and I go around to get in the driver's seat. It's locked. The door is locked, and I'm like, oh shit. So I try to open the door in the back of the driver's seat, locked. I go around to the passenger seat, locked. Penelope's door, of course, is locked. I was like, oh my God. She locked the car. She locked the car. She pressed the button on the keys and locked the car. I was like, oh my goodness. I instantly felt like my heart dropped to my butt. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm like, oh fuck. There's like a car, oh, sorry. There's like a car in front of me and there's someone in it. There's a lady in it and I'm like, uh, this lady's gonna see me and I hope she didn't see me putting Penelope in and I hope she doesn't call the cops so I'm like I go to Penelope I'm like P you need to open the door and I'm like she's not gonna understand so she's just looking at me and smiling and she's just like and I'm like oh my god P so then she like I'm like play with the keys so she starts waving the keys trying to give them to me and I'm like do not drop them I'm freaking out I'm like Everything is going through my head. I'm like, I'm gonna have to call Tone. 
and he's gonna kill me and it's hot the car's off it was hot i said someone is gonna call the cops like i'm gonna break the window i'm like this is crazy so i'm like penelope play with the keys and she's like waving them trying to give them to me i'm like no baby no because my fear is she'll drop them if she drops the keys we're done so i'm like okay julie calm down i'm looking around make sure no one is like coming so i'm i'm like calm and i talk to her and i'm like p press the buttons on the keys mommy i'm like play with the keys just press the buttons let me see how you press the buttons and for some miracle she looked at the keys and started pressing the buttons and the moment that i saw her press the unlock i just opened the door oh my god it was literally like three minutes it wasn't even five minutes it was like three minutes but they were the longest three minutes of my entire life like so much went through my head i was like oh my god this is terrible i'm gonna go to jail tony's gonna kill me we're gonna have to break the windows like this is so bad thankfully she listened to me oh my i'm so glad she did like she doesn't listen to me all the time but i was just happy that she actually played with the keys and opened the car and i know that's a terrible bad moment and i guess people don't like to share those because it's pretty bad i mean i shouldn't have left her my keys i should have known but i'm not perfect this is my first time being a mom and i honestly didn't even think about it i just thought that my car wouldn't lock with the keys inside but sure enough it does so now since then i've been so freaking careful so careful that i have the keys with me before i close the door so careful that i'm not closing the door before i have to oh guys it was so scary the funny thing is that i'm like oh my god if i share it people are gonna think i'm like a terrible mom and then i'm like well i am not like i'm not perfect shit happens like yes it's a terrible thing i did but like i didn't mean to you know it could happen to anyone like there's so much in your head when you're like getting a kid out and i share on my instagram and i got so many moms messaging me that they've done the same which made me feel better but also so many moms that are like that made me crack up i don't know if you're one of them but that made me crack up because they were like that happened to me and my husband doesn't know and i'm like shut up like her husbands don't know um a lot of people messaged me and were like oh that happened to me with my niece that happened to me with my nephew my sister doesn't know or my brother doesn't know. i'm like oh my god if that would have happened to me with my nephews my sister she's crazy she would have killed me she would have strangled me like i probably could not have told her because she would kill me but yeah so that happened monday that was fun I just wanted to tell you guys because it was really a mom, a mom, a bad mom moment. That's what I'm saying this week has been all out of whack, but I think it's because of my own mood. And I think I feel better today. I talked to my mom and I feel a little better and I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll just plan a trip to PA. Tom doesn't like me going so long because then he's by himself and he misses P, but like I just miss family and i miss my friends and sometimes when i feel this down i just need to go <laughs> so i might book a trip i think it's time right i'm trying to make one of these like fruit balls but i don't know if it's working good we shall see so all i did was use a quarter cup half a cup of almond milk because it was too thick um half a cup of greek yogurt plain greek yogurt and then a cup of this uh blended fruit from target it's just brand blended cherries strawberries blueberries and pomegranate seeds so that's what i decided to do um, and I'm gonna slice a banana on top and put some granola. So I think it'll be really, really good. And Penelope's gonna have some, I hope. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Hey guys, my phone died. Oh my God, this baby hairs. My phone, my phone died. <laughs> my battery died, I just put a new one. So this is what it ended up looking like. I try to make it look pretty like people do, uh, but me and Penelope are gonna have that. I'm not gonna put the honey because it's like, 
some carbs and I don't have that many carbs left and I think I want to make like some pasta with shrimp for dinner so I'm just gonna save my carbs for dinner and um, maybe so I could have like a rice cake or something like later when I get hungry so I'm just gonna save those I think this will be good like this Penelope really wants to try so we're just gonna see if she even likes it we'll see this is so good like now I just want to make one every day I see that people put coconut in it. I don't like coconut though. But if you like it, you could put like shredded coconut. Penelope was not a fan. I've been trying to make her eat it. <laughs> That's her face, she's not into it. So I'm not gonna make her. I'm eating it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Hello, Lola. She is dragging the newspaper. That's her thing right now. posted a little try on haul that I had on my Instagram that I had recorded yesterday and I completely forgot that I was vlogging mm -hmm. so I just started making dinner but I am making stir fry vegetables um, with shrimp and some jasmine rice I don't think I'm gonna have any rice I might have a little bit I was gonna make pasta with shrimp but then I just want to eat all the pasta so I decided to just do veggies um, I made them I didn't put any teriyaki or anything like that I used avocado oil um, a little bit to like stir fry them and I just did about like a couple tablespoons of soy sauce um, a teaspoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of pineapple juice to make kind of like a teriyaki um, sauce so yeah that's pretty much all I'm making and I just make the shrimp separate all the time um, and this is peppers, broccoli, onions, and mushrooms. And that's it. That's what we're having for dinner. Tone is home now. Penelope's hanging with him. When he gets home and he starts hanging with her, she does not let him put her down. Like, she just wants him to hold her the whole time. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to end it here because then we're just going to eat dinner. And then it's time for P to go to sleep. Um, we are eating pretty late these days because Tone has been getting out of work so late so we like to just eat together uh, but once we eat he will get a bath and she go to bed and I have to edit a video to go up tomorrow so that's it that's my night maybe I'll come back but I don't know if I don't I love you guys I'll see you next vlog next video and if I come back, well, then I'll see you then. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Actually, check if you have been subscribed because I've gotten some um, messages on my Instagram telling me that, um, like, subscribers that tell me that they're unsubscribed for some reason. And I have lost a lot of subscribers, uh, which is normal, like, I guess. <laughs> I always lose subscribers, um, but it's been, like, a lot within like a very quick time which usually doesn't happen so check maybe you're unsubscribed and make sure you click the little bell so you get notifications if you are subscribed okay that was a lot i love you guys sorry about this vlog it was so emotional and all over the place but you know what it's real life so it is what it is i gotta check on dinner love you peace